information. Any love can turn on cue. Now forego the information. What's an angry man to do? Drink my words in milk and honey. Join the lonely hostile band. Swear it's not about the money. Long as y'all still clapping him back. I'm gonna trust my little tiger. Mississippi, grab my loving old pick on. I don't need to know your history. Jackson, Oxford, on the loud. Drag my ass back through the fire. I don't care who's right or wrong. Task in hand is who gets higher. I don't care what drugs you're on, child. I'm gonna trust my little tiger. My little tiger always shakes it up for me. Trust my little tiger. My little tiger always kicks it down for free. I need someone to hold our faith. I need someone to stroke our face. We I need someone to kiss our lips and tell us that we could have this right. Trust my little tiger. My little tiger always gives love to me. And I'm gonna trust my little tiger, baby. My little tiger always kicks his ass for free. Get up! to 
to trust what you can't see. A living thing inside of me. Flesh, blood, and poetry. She owns it with her eyes. And heaven holds a place for love. Sex and love and God we trust. And every feeling good and just. She owns it with her eyes. I hear her calling all the ships at sea and I believe I hear her calling me right All the ships at sea and I receive I receive my very, very Mary star of the sea Very, very This song is from a record that Dave produced and uh, recorded with my band called The Jack Mormons. This is the title cut. This is actually the fourth flow. It's called Conscious Contact. Um, after last night I would, we called it Unconscious Contact. But
friend in Costa Rica and his name is Earl and uh, nobody in Costa Rica could pronounce the name Earl so they called him Julian and uh, Julian had this big huge house and if you came out of the second story bedrooms there was a railing and you'd get on the railing and then you'd jump and it would be a 30 foot drop to the pool and uh, when you hit the water, um, Julian would be waiting with what we call boat drinks, which is like rum and fruit juice with little umbrellas in it. And it was a nice way to wake up. 
plus 30 feet fucking down, you're like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, a year earlier, his wife had been murdered. And he's about 60 years old, so he would wake up at 6 in the morning and he'd, he'd start snorting cocaine and eating Xanax and drinking rum. And he would do that all day until midnight. And then at midnight, he'd climb up on the roof of this house, and by now he's like 70 feet in the air. And he would do this perfect swan dive off the roof into the deep end of the pool in the dark. It was amazing. <laughs> there was also a very good chance that he didn't give a shit if there was any water or not. So he wanted me to write a song for him, and I think he wanted a uh, kind of a Jimmy Buffett, Hanging on the beach, pretty Latin girls kind of song. And sang that song. This is called The Jump.
seeing in quite a while I was back in a hole just a killing time the last time we met was a, a dim little room we were close together like a bride and groom we ate the food and we could drink the wine everyone having a
But this is one that I wrote on this beach on Cipolite in Mexico. I had a, uh, I quit drinking for like eight years. And uh, then I decided that it would be a good idea to start drinking again. Wasn't a great idea. For one, you start drinking this brown Jägermeister stuff. And you write songs like this. This is called The Night I Got Drunk.
Oregon, in, uh, in the northwestern United States. And up there, uh, when you go to buy heroin or cocaine, usually it's a Mexican guy that's selling it to you. And he keeps it in a little balloon. He keeps the balloon underneath his tongue. Because if the police grab him, then he can swallow the balloons and he can avoid being arrested. The unsanitary part of this story is that as you go and you give the guy the money, he spits the balloons out, he hands them to you, and you put the balloons under your tongue. <laughs> Swapping a lot of spit. Not a lot of reward. So I wrote this song, this song is called Two Balloons, and when my daughter was a little girl, she thought that it was a song about the circus, and she would go to her school, and she would sing it. And then suddenly the school would call her. It was drag. This is called Two Balloons.
song is called Gold Americans. Um, it's a cigarette here in Europe called Gold American Cigarettes. And I was chain smoking them in Paris, and it was during the uh, during the Monica, Monica Lewinsky scandal. Which Paris is a weird place to, to be because they had just buried um, the Durand with his uh, wife and his mistress standing next to each other at their gravesite. Uh, so this is kind of a song about how Americans uh, love them or hate them. Their tastes tend to run pretty shallow. Um, they want a fucking Big Mac. You know what I mean? Always tastes like a Big Mac, looks like a Big Mac. They want a blowjob. It's like, it doesn't really matter the substance, it's the, the visual and the instant gratification. George Bush would be a perfect example of um, no substance, instant gratification. <laughs>
fix my hair and put on my pretty Sunday dress oh and cook your breakfast it's a shame to leave the house a mess baby Thou will be done 
my hand now, baby. We'll look out to the sea. To the tuna boats and dolphins. We'll taste the ocean breeze. And I will not start weeping. Cause I promise I'll be strong. Tell me that you love me and hold me in your arms. It's funny, I remember when I was a little girl, how easy came the laughter, the wonders of the world. How one day I would marry thee. With a family of my own but The time has come now, baby To take my family home
as the moon gets stars in the tree, my share. Maybe I can find a girl who doesn't know what I put you through. Treat her like a queen of the world. Forget the way I treated you. Late at night when I call your name, she won't have to understand. Got her ropes and all my hopes just outside of that. They say 420. 4, 420 is the uh, the police um, call number for pot smoking in progress. So, so everywhere you go, people have these 420 t-shirts, and they're like, 420, dude. It's 420. <laughs> so I had written this song um, from a friend of mine. Uh, McCann from Ireland who wrote this book that was primarily about the Spanish Civil War and Franco's siege of Madrid. But I was in Munich and I was with uh, Vic Chestnut and it was 420. Which over here is a whole different deal. That's Hitler's birthday. That's not lighting up a dragon. <laughs> This song is called 1936 Jesus, and I, uh, it took a different hit altogether. Thank the Lord for the doves 
the problem again. Welcome to fascists to Madrid. Like a nineteen thirty six Jesus. Like a nineteen thirty six Jesus. Got no time for crucifixion. Never know which shirt to wear. I'll let some other sucker handle resurrections. But this is not my cross to bear. Lucky night, Six Jesus, Lucky Night, Team Thirty Six Jesus. Well, all at once in love with a million women in the white, the white city. song. The song is called Purple Hearts. Um, the Purple Heart is the medal that you get in uh, the American military when you get wounded in battle and then they give you a, a Purple Heart. So fucking what? <laughs> it's like, you lost your arm, here's a Purple Heart, man. <laughs> Anyways, Years ago, when I was a young lad, I, I moved up to a town called Logan, Utah. And uh, when I got to the town of Logan, Utah, it's a little farm community, 
it was brought to my attention that there were uh, there were no alarms on the pharmacies. You know what I mean? Pharmacies or drugstores or whatever it is in America are very heavily fortified so that the junkies can't get in and steal the drugs. But when I got to Utah, there were there was no alarms. It was just like Christmas every day for like three or four days. And then they then they figured it out. And it wasn't Christmas anymore. But I wrote this song and this is called Purple Hearts.
the tragedies of Shakespeare, greatest actors line up for the part, Rodan, Michelangelo, Alper Camus, Jean Passard, MacArthur, Guadalcanal, Waterloo, with Bonaparte, in his purple heart. John, John, since you requested this song, would you please bring the basket up? Yes. I, uh, I've been trying to move to Berlin for like four years. I really like it here. I would like to live here. But there's no fucking ice. And, and the only ice there is is green. But the drinks come in this basket. <laughs> they are cold. Red, Bull, Red Bulls and then beer and Jägermeister. All, all in a nice picnic basket. <laughs> There's no fucking ice, man. This song is called Whatever's in the Basket.
It'll be all right, maybe. And it'll work out fine, yeah. Whatever you got in the basket will do just fine.